morning guys I'm starting a new weekend vlog and a bit of a different look today but um, a few people have asked me to kind of do like a pamper routine but I'm not going to do a pamper routine I'm just going to show you a few like more pamper self-care things I'm going to do over the weekend so the little pamper bits will be sort of like littered across the weekend and so yeah it's Saturday no it's not Saturday it's Friday because it's good Friday yay and I thought I would just show you a few bits that I'm going to do I've just had a shower I've just shaved my legs which is always a joyous occasion. Um, so I'm just gonna pluck my eyebrows and then I'm gonna show you what moisturizer I usually use on my body. Let's do it. So yeah, when I pluck, I use a little mirror. I tend to do it like in the daylight so I can really see what I'm doing. Um, and then I've literally got these pu uh, pubes, <laughs> tweezers, uh, leopard print as usual. And I just go for it basically. I just need to tidy up in the middle here and a few bits either side, but nothing too major. I did get my eyebrows threaded like once but I just tend to pluck if you have followed me for a while you'll know that I used to have a fringe so I used to not really worry too much about my eyebrows but now I have to but I think the key is to just do little and often with it Okay, I've just put some clothes on now. Um, so I've just done my eyebrows, I mainly did it here, you can kind of see they're a bit red. I'm gonna leave that just a little bit before I only put any face moisturizer on, but I'll show you what moisturizer I use as well. And then for my body, I'm just about to use this. I'm mainly gonna do my legs, to be honest, because um, I might go out in the garden later, so I might end up putting sun cream on my arms anyway. This is the Soap and Glory, the Way She Smooths Body Lotion. This is really, really nice. It's like a really fruity smell. Um, I think this is actually gifted from a little while ago. However, I always repurchase Soap and Glory products. I love these big pump bottles because you don't have to put your hands in anything and they just last absolutely ages. So yeah, love these. So yeah, I literally just do a few pumps. Put it on my legs. Smells amazing and yeah, really, it's quite a thick moisturizer, which I quite like. Um, doesn't feel too sticky once it's like dried. Try and get my foot as well to make that soft. I am probably quite bad actually at like moisturising my body regularly. I don't have particularly dry skin so I don't necessarily like need to do it although I definitely should but yeah that feels a lot better. Okay done. I'm just gonna go wash my hands now. Whilst we're talking about products that I use, I thought I'd just show you the deodorant that I'm currently using. It's the Mitchum, what is this? It's like a stick basically, so it's not a spray or a roll on, so you just kind of push it up. I actually use this when we went travelling, so the smell reminds me of travelling. I basically got this because it's great for holidays and we were due to go on holiday and my spray ran out. But yeah, I really, really like this. It keeps me pretty dry throughout the day. And the only thing negative about it is I find that like it gets clothes a bit white. So if you're wearing black, especially if I'm not trying to put a sports bra on, it's just annoying. So just a flag on that. But yeah, I like it. Okay, now I have brushed my teeth. I've got very red lips. Um, I feel like this is turning into more of like a get ready with me. But anyway, I always like to put some Vaseline on my lips. It's cheap, but I find that Vaseline is like my favourite. I prefer the Vaseline in these big tubs than the like the tin. Just a weird personal preference. I'm going to get like a Vaseline moustache now probably. But anyway, put that on. Now my skin has calmed down a bit from the plucking. I'm going to put my morning moisturiser on, which is the Body Shop Aloe Soothing Moisture Lotion. And it's got an SPF 15 in it. You really don't need very much of this. Like that is enough. Um, it goes a really, really long way, to be honest. That's probably almost too much. But yeah, I really like this range. When I started using it, my skin was really bad, like really broken out. If you remember watching, I had really bad skin for a little while. And I decided to cut back on my skincare and really use products that had limited fragrance in. And these are really, really good for that. At night, I use the, the Ordinary Squalene Cleanser. And then I will use the Body Shop Night Cream. Now, I've actually just repurchased both of these, which is always a good sign for me. So, yeah, they're nearly run out and I've just repurchased. So, what I like as well is that my skin is actually quite dewy now that I use this moisturiser. Like, not in like a greasy way, but like a really nice, healthy looking way. So, yeah, I've done that now. Um, fresh faced, hopefully. And I'm just going to now put my makeup on and I'll catch you in a bit. It is much later now. I have spent 
a lot of today getting ready and then I also was watching Never Have I Ever on Netflix which was a pretty good little series um, probably more aimed at teenagers but I really enjoyed it and um, yeah now I'm hoping they do a second series but um, I've just put this top on this is not like a I wouldn't go out in this because it's pretty much a crop top but I'm just wearing it because I want something with with a bit strappy for the garden although actually probably ideally I want something with no straps but I'm struggling to find anything but it's really really hot outside we have just got the barbecue out I've just cleaned it because I'm hoping to have a barbecue tomorrow and we've got like our little table out in the garden as well so I'm gonna go sit out there get my kindle and read for a bit in the sunshine because we need to make the most of it right we'll just show you I'm wearing my uh, yellow socks today yes and then yeah this is my very much unplanned outfit these are way too big for me but um i wear them with a belt so it's fine normally but i'm just going in the garden so this is fine it is later i've been out in the garden most of today which has been lovely reading drinking a pims as well um, we've had a little walk around our block lots of people having street parties which is like quite nice but bit concerned that people are a little bit too close but whatever we're preparing for a barbecue now so Dan's doing the burgers and um, buns so I'll just show you what we've got on the side I've got some salad here and then I'm just going to plate up some potato salad which has got mayonnaise a bit of mustard and actually I found some chives in a salad bag uh, and then it's some tomatoes which I've put with some extra virgin olive oil a bit of lemon juice and then some oregano and then obviously some wine yes Good morning, good morning. I was gonna say good evening, guys. It is the next evening, so I have been a bit rubbish at vlogging. Um, but today has just been a bit of a repeat of yesterday, hence why I haven't really vlogged. So I've just been out in the garden most of the day. Um, I did start cleaning off our patio outside, so yeah, very not vloggable. But I will show you like a clip over while I'm talking of. I only did like about five, six slabs to see if it would work. And I literally just used hot water and a broom. And you can see that it's actually made quite a big difference. So I'm going to get down on that over the next few weekends. And yeah, we had such a nice evening last night. The barbecue was delicious. It was just so nice sitting out in the sunshine, having like a glass of wine. And it was just lovely. It's not as nice this evening. And we're having spag bowl tonight. So we won't be outside. Um, we've just gone on our little walk around the block which was good and I had a very long call with some friends earlier which was lovely so yeah I feel very content right now I've been reading educated I want to call it educated I think that's what it's called let me just check on my kindle uh, uh, uh. oh no expectation so it's been on my list for ages it's quite a short book which is good obviously I just like to kind of get through books quite quickly at the moment and yeah I have been really enjoying my kindle because I've downloaded quite a lot of books lately because there's been some on my list for a while that have been good offers so yeah if you want to find out what books I'm downloading and stuff come follow me on instagram if you haven't already because I like to kind of share the deals that I find so that even if they're I have a bit of a rule that I don't like spending more than like one, two pounds on a Kindle book. Don't know why, that's just my rule. Uh, but I have asked for quite a few books for my birthday, as my birthday is in a few weeks' time. Anyway, gosh, sorry, I feel like I just rambled there. But anyway, I'm going to start doing dinner, so I'll show you that. We have also been watching Good... Is it The Morning Show? The Morning Show on Apple TV, which we've been quite enjoying. It's um quite long, like it's like 10 episodes per season and the episodes are quite long as well but it's really good it's got some good music in it you can tell they spent a lot a lot of money on it and yeah i'm enjoying it reese witherspoon and steve carell like two of my favorite actors so yeah i've been enjoying that and um it's been nice to kind of sit down and actually get into a series i'll stop rambling i'll go start doing siri always comes up on my phone i'm gonna start doing dinner now so i'll show you what i am gonna do what is the time Half six, I'm really hungry, so let's get going. As I said, I'm doing like a corn spaghetti bolognese, so I've chopped up some mushrooms, gonna have lots of mushrooms just to pat it out, lots of garlic, because we love garlic. And then for the sauce, I'm literally just gonna use gin tomatoes, some oregano, salt pepper, obviously some oil, and some tomato puree. I think that's it, so I'm just gonna start cooking. Here we go, gluten free pasta and then some cheese, although this isn't the nicest cheese. Mm -mm -mm. Good morning guys, it is Sunday today, so technically it's 
kind of like our Saturday because we've got tomorrow off as well. Um, I took quite a long time doing my makeup again today and just sort of, actually, I'd lie, I read a little bit this morning. I finished Expectation. I also read Sally Rooney's short story, Mr. Salary. So yeah, done some good reading. Expectation wasn't quite what I expected. Uh, I thought maybe I would love it, but I didn't love it. I thought it was good. I liked that it kind of um, talked about issues with like when you're in your 30s so infertility and um like friendships growing apart and like lo lost loves and everything like that I did like that aspect of it but I did feel like some of it actually wasn't very realistic and it went a little bit too like drama but yeah it was good it was enjoyable and I loved Mr Salary which was Sally Rooney's short story super super short obviously <laughs> um and I want more of it but it was good and um I did download it on my kindle but annoyingly i found that it's actually on the irish times if you're interested there's another one of her short stories on the new yorker if you're also interested and someone else just told me uh, where else you can find her short story so i'll maybe write it in the comment the description box for you guys below and then yeah i've spent quite a long time doing my makeup i actually went for like a purple eyeshadow today don't know if you can see it i mean it probably doesn't look that great up close but um i really enjoyed doing it i actually used this collection palette, it's a super super cheap palette, it's called Collection Glam Crystals. I have got some more expensive palettes but they weren't quite the right purple, just wanted quite a light one. Um, but the other ones are quite dark purple. I think I actually borrowed this from my mum because she lent it to me when I wanted to do some mermaid makeup for a work party. But anyway, really like the eyeshadow today, I'm quite enjoying like just trying out different makeup while I'm at home. I then yeah may try some more next weekend so I'll let you know. What is the time now? It is 1.20. My phone is nearly out of battery so I need to go and take that downstairs. Um, Dan is probably playing a game. I'm just going to go see how long he has got left of it before we go and make some lunch. Um, lunch will probably just be bagels as it is every day with avocado, bacon, that kind of thing. Oh and now my battery's flashing on this which is really annoying. I'll just quickly show you before my battery runs out. I think I'm going to try to do some baking today but I'm not sure. It depends... If not, I do need to like sit down and edit some vlogs, so I will make sure I do do that. Um, but yeah, this is my lockdown outfit for today. I've got this baggy t-shirt, long t-shirt that I used to wear as actually more of like a dress from H&M. And then I've got my leopard print leggings on. I can't remember these are from ASOS. And then I've got my bright pink socks on today with my leopard print, what are they called, slippers. Oh, I'm like doing yoga pose here. I'm really into yoga right now. So yeah, anyway, this look is just so hot right now. Oh yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna stop rambling and go and try and get some lunch. It is after lunch now and yeah, had a good lunch. I'm wearing my nerdy glasses and I'm just sitting down to edit the um, what I eat in a week video. That was actually meant to be out last week but I just got sidetracked and I, if I'm honest, I couldn't be bothered to edit it last week. So I'm doing that now. Might see where my head is at because I really want to get my Bali vlog edited because it's nearly a year since we were there and I just, yeah, although like people might not be interested, I just want to get it done. Dan has just brought me a Vietnamese style coffee. If you have been to Vietnam, it's like a coconut milk iced coffee and oh my god, it's so good. Let me, I haven't even tried this yet, but it's so thick, I can't even get in it. It's so good. If you are interested, I'm actually going to use a spoon. Um, I will leave like a recipe down below so delicious so yeah i'm editing here i'm very happy because i've got my tulips here which looks so beautiful got this for like one pound something in tesco the other day excuse this this is actually my work station <laughs> i put a towel over it so that i can't see it every day i'm gonna edit this and uh, i'll let you know what i get to later okay i have been editing i think for like nearly two hours and for some reason the barley one is really frustrating me it's just annoy me I don't feel like I vlogged what I should have vlogged but anyway I won't I won't ramble on about that um I've done a very very rough edit I want Dan to have a watch and see what he thinks but yeah I think I'm gonna have a bit of a break from it it's 20 to 6 and I kind of fancy like a little bath so I think I just need like to switch off and get my kindle so I'm gonna read the American marriage in the bath but I'll show you how I like to have a good nice bath as part of like my pamper self-care thing you might be able to hear the bath in the background but this is what i'm going to use it's from lush it is the blue skies bubble bar and it is delicious just smells really calming i think it was new last year um but i got one for christmas so yeah this is still from christmas and i just think it smells so so good i'm not sure what's in it 
um, but as I said it smells quite calming so I don't know if it's got like lavender or something in it so I'm gonna put a lot of that in maybe like half of that chunk and then I'll see if it's bubbly enough if not I might use I'll show you also what I like to use okay so these are two other products I like I think I was gifted this years ago it's um a green bath potion it's got peppermint and fennel in it and it's basically like an oil you really don't need much of this at all but it smells so good and it's really nice and calming and then this although this annoys me because it says for men this radox muscle therapy bar bubble lotion is so so good and honestly one of the best things i think for getting bubbles so i'd also really recommend that i think it's about a pound which you can probably get in the supermarket quite easily so yeah i might put a drop of this in with the lush bubble bar today and that will be my concoction <laughs> Dan has just made me breakfast on Monday morning. What's this again? Coconut milk. Coconut cream whip with a bit of a common pot he's made and pancakes. Good morning guys. So yeah, it is Monday and you would have just seen that I showed you the breakfast that we just had, which was so, so good. Um, Dan was actually trying to recreate a breakfast that we had back in Amsterdam and he did a really, really good job. The only annoying thing is that um, the coconut cream wouldn't whip as well but it still tasted so good so yeah it was lovely i have just had a shower as you can tell i've had a really good hair wash i feel like my hair during lockdown has just not been great it just seems to get greasy quite quickly let me know if you're having the same problem uh, but as part of my like self-care weekend i'm just going to paint my toenails which i'm not going to show you them before because i feel like toenails are not very nice are they uh, but i thought i'd just show you what i'm gonna use I'm using this Rimmel base and top coat. It's like a one combine. Um, obviously, it means that you don't have to buy two separate ones. Is that going to focus? This is nearly running out, as you can see, so I do need to get a new one of these. But I really, really rate this. I think this helps keep my nail polish on a lot because I don't really tend to... I sort of leave my nails on for about a week. They chip a little bit, but not too much. But I always see that people like moan about their chip nails, but mine seems fine. And then I'm going to use this, again, Rimmel. Rimmel 60 second nail polishes are like my favourite. If you ever want to know what I'm wearing on my nails, it's normally one of these. This is the In Style Coral, so it's a really nice like bright orange colour. On my toenails, I tend to prefer to have bright colours. I don't know why, I just think it kind of makes your feet look a bit better and less gross. So yeah, I'm going to go for this bright colour today and yeah, I'll show you what they look like after. Um, I will give you a warning if you don't like feet. And um, yeah, while I do that, I'm going to do a bit of reading. I'm now on to an American marriage, which I'm not sure about so far, but I'll keep going. As you can see, I'm just wearing a bit of a um, creased t-shirt. I think I'm going to go make up this today. I'm just, I need a break from it. I'm not sure if we're going to go out or not, or whether we'll just chill. And I still need to see if I've got ingredients to do some baking. I feel like I've talked about it so much that I need to just have a look. Warning, feet shop. I won't go any closer than that, but there we go. They look much fresher now, and yeah, I really like the colour. I'm gonna let them dry now for a bit. Dan just bought me a cup of coffee. Probably not his best uh, latte art. Hi. <laughs> but I'm sure it still tastes lovely. It is later and we've come back from a really nice long walk. So we went like a little bit in the car for about an hour and a half walk. So it was very good. It was really deserted. I'll insert some clips now. It was very, very windy. So it was actually quite cold. So we were wearing like hats and stuff. Um, and then I found like a wooden ball which I had to sit on and yeah had a nice little time come back now we've had some lunch and I'm going to do a bit of baking so I had, have got enough ingredients I think so yeah I'm going to do some my nan's old recipe of like bourbon biscuits so chocolate bourbons I don't know if this is going to go well or not but I'll take you along the ride so in here I've got some butter, cocoa powder, sugar and flour and I'm just going to literally mix it in with my hands apparently. Okay so it's going to plan, I've got my chocolate dough here so I'm just going to roll this out and then start cutting it. I've got this cookie cutter I'm going to use, ideally obviously these would be like rectangular but I'm going to mix it up a bit. Okay this is then now on the tray, I'm going to put these in for 10 minutes, um, I have still got a bit of stuff left. But I thought I would do these a bit of a... Actually, I could probably fit another row on, actually. I might do that now. Okay, I'm very happy with these. They've come out of the oven. I've got a few more in the oven now. But yeah, they look quite good. So I'm going to have to wait for these to cool before I do, like, a buttercream. Okay, now it's a bit later. And I have just made a bit of buttercream. So this has got icing sugar, 
um, butter, well, the marge, and then some more cocoa powder. So I hope this is enough because this is all the butter I've got. So let's put it in. Okay, so here is the finished biscuits. I'm really, really happy with them. They taste pretty good. Put a tiny bit of cast sugar on top. Yeah, obviously it hasn't made like loads, but now that I know I can do it, I could do like a double batch. But yeah, if you're interested, I'll leave the recipe below. I probably would have done the biscuits a bit thinner, but I've learnt for next time. I enjoyed doing those biscuits so much more than I enjoyed baking like cakes. I used to really like baking cakes, but not anymore. The only other thing I was going to mention was that I potentially will do one of these tonight or in the week or next weekend. Um, it's one of the deep moisturising foot packs. I think this was just from Sainsbury's. But yeah, I don't buy very expensive ones. I've only done one of these once. They're like the sock things you put over your feet. And then they like take off all the gross bits and make them feel all soft. So obviously as I've painted my nails, I thought it'd be a nice treat for myself. And yeah, I'm going to leave this here because I'm going to finish this off and get it uploaded tonight. So this is actually the Monday that you'll be watching it. And um, yeah, thank you so much for getting this far. I'm not sure what this vlog is going to be like. But yeah, thank you and I will see you again next week. I will say that my eating slash food video will be up in a couple of days because I've now edited that so I'll get that up as well for you guys who want an extra video and then yeah I'll see you again for another weekend vlog next week why am I out of breath okay bye